These root tabs cost me mere pennies to make as compared to these branded root tabs. And they're very simple to make. You will need two ingredients, Osmoco Plus and double O sized gelatin capsules. First things first, you want to open and pour the Osmoco into the lid it came with. Avoid doing what I did and making a mess. Next, take one empty gelatin capsule and with the longer side, fully scoop up the Osmoco and fully cap it. There you go, you've made your first root tab. This single root tab cost me about 25 cents to make, and you can make a lot of them. I've made over 300 capsules, and I'm not even half done with the bottle. Anyway, it's time for planting. When planting these bad boys, make sure to plant them as deep into the substrate as possible to prevent them from breaching the substrate. The tabs tend to float due to air being trapped in the capsules. These tabs have an effective radius of about an inch and a half and will last for about four to five months, so plant accordingly. Now, if by chance those beets do breach the substrate, you may have a bad time. Osmocote uses ammonium nitrate as a source of nitrogen. Yeah, it's ammonia and nitrate combined. If the beads hit the water column, ammonium nitrate will dissolve into ammonia and nitrate separately. This may cause unexpected ammonia spikes and may lead to dangerous levels if you're not careful, especially since the bead don't fully dissolve. Plus, these are made for terrestrial plants, not aquatic plants, so use them with caution. But that sounds pretty sketchy, so why use them? As I've said before, these are super cheap and easy to make, and even more, they work. I used these in my Fluvoflex series on my channel, and my Hygrophila polysperma skyrocketed after 18 days, and I had no ammonia issues. But it's not just polysperma. Any root feeders such as Amazon Swords will love these. If you think the pros outweigh the cons, go ahead and use them. Your aquarium may thank you. But do you know what else will make your aquarium thank you? If you knew how to correctly test your water, which you can find out over here. 